G'day there, I'm Dingo Pete. Welcome to my kitchen. I want to ask you a question. How many of you love a good sausage roll? Now, I don't mean that cardboard or whatever it is, uh, wood pulp stuff that you get from the shop. I mean a really decent home-cooked sausage roll. I love them. And I'm going to show you how to make some which are just outstanding, easy to do, cheap to do, and you will love the flavour. You'll have to give this a crack. Okay, let's get this show on the road. What I've got in the bowl here is 500 grams of minced lamb and 500 grams of minced pork. I'm going to add to them now about half a cup of chopped flat leaf parsley, half a cup of very finely chopped uh, rosemary, don't do the stalks, they're very woody, just the leaves. And I've got a cup of dried breadcrumbs. I'm just going to tip all of that in there. And now I've got a teaspoon of uh, paprika, two rather large garlic cloves, which I've chopped. I've got a teaspoon of dried oregano and a teaspoon of dried chopped chives. So they just go in as well. Nothing hard so far, is there? And prep on this is really, really easy. Now I've got to mix all of those things together. It'll take about five minutes. Just get your hands in there and work everything around until it all combined. Okay, I've taken about a cricket ball sized piece of that uh, mixture, which will make two dozen uh, beautiful sausage rolls for you. And now I'm going to work it out until it looks a bit like a sausage. And now I've got a piece of puff pastry. This is half a standard sheet of Pampas puff pastry. It'll do the trick for you. Make sure that we've stretched that out enough. Just a little bit more. Try and keep it nice and even through the length. And then simply pop it on like that. Give them a little bit more length. There we go. And then all we do is this. Roll it over. Okay. That's looking good. Now I'm going to uh, brush some egg wash onto it. That'll make sure that it comes up beautifully golden brown. Make sure you get the sides as well. I hope you notice that the seam is underneath. Okay. Then I've got some sesame seeds. I'll just sprinkle them on there. And that egg wash will help to uh, glue those sesame seeds to the sausage rolls. Fantastic. We're almost done. Now I'm going to cut this. We want to keep things equal size if we can. So firstly, I'll cut it in about the middle. And then I'll cut that in half again. And so we now have four roughly equally sized uh, sausage rolls. 
All right, there's our two dozen sausage rolls on the baking tray, on baking powder, ready to go into the oven for 20 minutes to half an hour at 220 degrees. Leave them in there until they're nice and golden brown. That way you know they'll be cooked all the way through and they'll be just absolutely delicious to eat. Give this one a whirl. You really should. I'll show you what they're like shortly. Oh my gosh, I've just taken them out of the oven. They've been there for half an hour and they are looking just delicious. They are looking wonderful. The fragrance coming off them is outstanding. I'm telling you this right now. If you make this recipe, you will never, ever, ever buy a sausage roll from a shop again. And if you currently make your sausage rolls, you will Ditch your recipe for my recipe. I made this recipe. It is just fantastic. Please enjoy your sausage rolls. Oh, can't wait to get my teeth into that lot. Gee whiz, what did you think of that? Interesting flavours in there, aren't there? And I'll tell you what, once you've made these and put them in your mouth, you are going to be absolutely delighted, I can promise you that. You will never, ever like a standard sausage roll again. But these are just as easy to make. Please subscribe to my channel, please share this with your friends, and I'll see you again next week.